who doesn't love a bit of cake? And sometimes it can be a little disappointing after all that time and effort when the final product comes out looking a little bit, well, awful. We've got the mixer going, which is why I'm speaking up at the moment. We've got a beautiful guest here who's going to show us how to make an insta-perfect cake. Her name is Stacey Brewer, and she's fabulous. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. What have we got in there? What are we mixing? Right. Yeah, so today we're going to be making a Genoa sponge, like a naked cake like this one. Oh, a naked cake. Yeah. Ooh. Have I just ruined your plans? Your lovely floor manager just told me to turn this off, but I don't That's want to... Okay. Is it one of those things where if it hasn't been beaten for the exact right amount of time, the whole thing's going to be ruined? No, it'll be fine. So, yeah, oh. basically what we've got in here so far is the eggs and sugar. Right. How much um, longer does that need mixing? So, we need to just turn it up on high for about a minute. OK, okay. We, can so we can shout. Do you mind? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's shout over that. Yeah. Okay. So in the bowl is the eggs and sugar. Yeah. Um, you want to normally uh, beat that for about five minutes on high. Um, yeah, with the sponge, you want to get it nice and fluffy. The eggs nice and big, nice and fluffy. Yep. Um, that'll give you a really nice moist sponge. Right. Yep. Um, so I might get you to pop that glove on. Oh, yes, OK, good. Um, and then the next thing we're going to do is fold in to the... We'll take it off the mixer. Pardon? <laughs> <laughs> yep. You know, I really like cake when it's just at this point. I, I just prefer <laughs> licking the beaters and eating it raw. Does that make me some well, sort of Neanderthal person? They say you person? shouldn't do that anymore because oh, really? it's raw egg and you can you can get sick. All now, right. while we're talking about food safety, I'm not trying to be funny, but have you checked your strawberries? Yes. I'm oh, checking good. them now. Uh, okay, we're cutting, that's why we're cutting them in half. All right. Good. So we're going to... Yeah, the most important thing is to sift in the flour. Yes. Because um, you don't want there to be any lumps in there. Yes. There we are. Oh, All right. yum. So, with your hand, you're just yes. going to get in there and you're going to fold the flour in. With my, oh, with with my gloved hand. hand? Get in there. Okay, oh, right. I might just hands. lift up my fancy uh, shirt here. This is exciting. <laughs> right. Okay, cool. here we go. Yep. And just fold it through with your right. hand. There we are. Oh, Perfect. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> Oh. Yeah, so the reason why you're doing this unsure. and yes. not doing it with a spatula is you don't want to knock all the air out of the sponge. Oh, yes, of course, oh. yes. So you I can feel that. it as you're going. And, you so know. this is the trick to keeping it moist? Yeah, is that nice right? and fluffy, yeah. OK, if yep. you don't have a glove, are you allowed to do it with your hand? Probably yeah, yeah, not. Yeah, of course. Oh, OK, good. Yep. Cool. Is serving it, it to John? In? I think it's in, yes. Yep. Cool. Right. All right, and now we're going to uh, fold the melted butter into the mix. Good. Can I keep doing this? I'm quite enjoying yep. it. Get your hands in there. OK, good. Perfect. Yeah, right. and once that's incorporated, um, you're going to... You'd normally put it into three of these tins to get your three layers of cake. Oh, I see, right. Yep. OK. So we'll just pour Ooh. it into the one. Thank you. How important is it to have an Instagram-worthy cake in this day and age? Oh, that's pretty important. Everybody, yeah, you want to see something that's really beautiful. Oh, see, there's a bit there that I didn't fold properly. Oh. Let me just fix that up. <laughs> Sorry about in fact, that. We've got some beautiful photos of your incredible cakes. I want to show everyone yeah. at home. You've got some... Absolutely creative cakes. Check this out. How do you come up with these ideas? They're gorgeous. Um, I normally work with seasonal, seasonal kind of produce and, yeah. um, you know, trips to the flower markets and things like yeah. that. Seeing what's in season is really beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and then I just kind of base the cakes around that. How long would you pop this in the oven for? Um, so that one, as I said, you put it into three tins yep. and you bake in the oven at 160. Um, it doesn't take very long because the cakes are quite small, so okay. normally about 10 to 12 minutes. Oh, wow, that's quick. Yeah. All right, I love this part. This is the assembly <laughs> part and decoration. So this is the finished product. Wow. Check it out. That'd be a beautiful wedding cake, actually. Yeah. Um, but we are going to do a small tier. So first up, and these are brilliant ideas, aren't they? One of these little the turntable, spinning yeah. turntables. Yeah. You can get That's the cake shops. Yeah, you don't need too much equipment when you're making something like that. It's pretty easy. But yeah, having a turntable makes it pretty easy Super just helpful. to be able to see what you're doing. Now we've just got whipped cream here. Yep. Um, yeah, you've got the strawberries cut up. It's yep. perfect. Um, so I always like John, to... you can take it. No, no, that's all right. I just wanted to thank you very much indeed for coming. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sort of a bit... If people want to steal your ideas, where do we find... Where do we find these things? Do you have a website or an Instagram? Oh, yeah, head to my we... website, uh, yes. stacybrewercakes.com. Oh, there um, it is on screen now. Yep. So, oh. yeah, when we're decorating it, I always kind of push the cream out to the sides because yes. you want it to kind of be hanging off like that. Yep, yeah. you can put some jam Gorgeous. on. Gorgeous. And, and this is just jam out of the jar? Uh, this one's um, homemade jam. Oh, wow. Yeah, so this Ooh. one's and raspberry jam. this around the outside? Yep. So or that's in the it. middle? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, just that's you want to kind of push it off to the outside a little bit. Yeah, Can that's you it. cheat yeah, and use perfect. jam out of a jar that you bought from the shops or do you have to make yeah. it yourself? Jam's pretty easy to make though, especially um, with things like strawberries being in season and stuff like that. They're really cheap oh, at the moment, so goodness. perfect. <laughs> 
Okay. So then with the strawberries, you kind of pad them around the edges like this because you want them to kind of visually be able to see what you have. Oh, yep. right. And maybe pop some raspberries on there as well, Sean. Uh, uh, sort of towards the outside or through yeah. them in the middle? Yeah, in the middle as well. Okay. I don't oh think I could be gosh. much help here. I'll just no. stand here with my, <laughs> my gloved hand. I'll just keep, keep going, this going here. Oh, wow. And then you sandwich the next layer on top. Yeah. Oh, Probably my goodness. Jam in the middle. Yum. I can't wait to see this on Instagram. <laughs> Oh, this is too pretty to eat. Are they real flowers? Are they edible flowers? Or do you just take them Yeah, off? they're real flowers. Um, they don't really taste like anything, so you can eat them if you want. But, yeah, they don't really taste like anything. It's more kind of for decoration. Um, if you're not sure what flowers to use on cakes and with the edible and stuff like that, always just check with your florist. Or... Stacey, can I cut this? Yeah, can go I cut for the it. top? Is yeah. that OK? Yeah. I'm just going to pull out a little bit, John. Oh, yeah, because okay. you're our guest. OK, oh, how lovely. That's good. And I want I'm to so feed relieved. you a I little bit of cake. Be, I, I thought it was going to be polystyrene. Here we are. Do oh, no, I... it's real. It's real, okay, all right. Do you want a hand? Can you go Well, look, I suppose so. I was going to do a hilarious, you know, pat you on the, on, you know, shake hands or something at the end of the thing, but I won't do that. Yeah, I'll stick John, that over there. Yes, OK. This is because you're our special guest. Oh, how lovely. OK. Oh, good. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh, absolutely <laughs> marvellous. Thank you. Please thank mm. Stacey Brewer for showing us how to make this delicious cake. Thank mm. you. Thank you so much. And also, check out her Instagram page. It's gorgeous. And now, how can you can live in a house made famous by an iconic movie? We are checking the showbiz file again after the break. Stay with us. Awesome.